Hey guys, welcome back to more World Snooker Championship 2009 and part 14 of our career mode. Today we have the final mini session of the final of the UK Championships against Jamie Corbett. It is going to be an excellent, excellent finale to this tournament, which has been great to be honest with you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into it. Thank you for all of the support recently on the channel. Obviously, we had the big uh, trailer uh, release for Snooker 19 last week. We've got a release date, sort of, uh, with Amazon saying that it's uh, going to be the 16th of April. So we're getting ready for that. We're in full swing, and there's going to be five Snooker videos a week on the channel from now on. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. UK time so hopefully you guys will enjoy that there was a comment saying what difficulty mode are we playing on and the answer is we don't uh, th th there is no difficulty mode you just uh, it's it's based on how tough the players are now what you can pick is um, so sort of whether you have an aim and aid on or off and and you know I'm not good enough at the game to, to, to have it completely off. I agree, the lines are a bit long on this game, um, but there's not really uh, much I can do about it. We have turned off the positional aid, uh, but not the aiming aid, because it, it is just too hard. I will ho hopefully get a, a chance to demonstrate how difficult it is without the, uh, the aiming aid on today's video. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's uh, where we're going to... Uh, leave it for now, and we'll uh, we'll break off in this uh, 14th frame. We are 7-6 up against Jamie Cope in this match, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to consolidate that lead in this frame. But here we go, breaking off in frame 14. Well, that's not the worst start. We need to get all the way to the back of the ball. We've got uh, John Virgo and John Parrott joining absolutely us. Absolutely delighted for this uh, final possible uh, six frames. Uh, play a bit of a drag shot here. Oh, we've hit it too soft. That's a bit of a shame. I'd be surprised if that is his last shot of the frame. Well, <laughs> that's an absolutely that's terrible shot take from take Jamie. Every he's got the opportunity, this player. <laughs> he wasn't playing that. I'll put it that way, goodness me. Angle to get on the blue. The position looks Absolutely good for him. Terrible. So a little bit of screw back, trying to get uh, behind the back of the black, which we have managed to do. And he's well poised for the next. So. We also have the, the, the Tour Championship uh, starting. easy one then. I think. Um, has it started? Yeah, I'm recording this on the on the Monday night, so um, it Not might well be uh, Tuesday if that started. So you know it should be in full swing by now. Obviously, brand new tournament for this season. I think it'll be very interesting to see who wins it, um, or who does well in it as well. The the yellow um, spots looking favourite. I disagree with you there, John. But uh, nice little uh, development into the pack there. Uh, that goes in nicely. I think he's probably got the requisite angle to be nicely on the next red. But yeah, we will uh, we will showcase how difficult it is um, without these emanates. Uh, Which red will he go know. for? My guess is the one near the blue. You'd expect him to pop this one. I think he'll take the brown here. And you know, I think people also, you know, fail to realise I've been playing this game for absolutely years. <laughs> you know, I know pretty much everything there is to know about this game. Um, you know, World Snooker 09, and uh, you know, yes, I don't play without the uh, the aim and aid, but um, you know, everything else is is as hard as it can be. Um, you know, playing the 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 full length uh, match in the final and stuff. Um, you you know, so it's not as if I'm going into a new game and uh, wiping the floor with the opposition. There's no reason why the shouldn't be a cinch. 
you know, I know how to play it, <laughs> which is a big help, I, I think. You know, when when you're going into a, a career mode fresh, having never played the game before, there is going to be that bedding in period, but with a game you've been playing for so long, you are going to be uh, a lot better at the game than your average Joe, so... You know, I think that's what people fail to, to realise with this. It is only episode, what, 14, but I've put hundreds of hours into this game. Yep, he's got where he wanted to go. And, you know, we still do make the odd mistake. You know, we're not unbeatable. Uh, you know, the fact Jamie Cobb is only one frame behind is, you know, a testament to that. It's not too easy for us. That's not the best shot. Um, that blue, I'm not sure about it. I think green it is. So, nice shot. There's nothing really shouting out at him. Drop this red in. What? Screw shot here. He'll be pleased to be amassing a tidy little points total. So 61 in the lead, 67 on the table, just this red. Really and only two frames He'll away. To keep his cool. That's a decent shot. He's done a good job here. He can do the little easy for a while. So we, once we've got this frame in the in the bag, so you know after this red perhaps. i.e. when Jamie won't come back to the table we'll turn off the aiming and we'll see uh, how well we do and I imagine we'll probably get a couple of pots um, depending on where this cue ball finishes but um, you know <laughs> it is tough and there you go we missed the blue so it's not easy <laughs> And you are. It's not like playing in real life. You know, you just don't get the feel of, of where you're aiming. It helps to have this lead, of course. Yeah, not there. Not there. Not ideal for us. We'll just. Uh, Oh, well, that's gone a little bit wrong. I'll provide the frame's first points, then. I don't think he'll mind queuing behind that. Well, he's potted it. This is a tough pot for him here. Oh, he's missed that. By quite some way. in his stride at the moment. So... on the scoreboard now he needs to build too much emphasis placed on the pot there so maybe well, we'll just drop it in and if we miss this it'll be the last shot we play without the camera oh that was close you know that's the type of shot that can land you in real hot water well, it's a bad shot Neither rushing nor hesitating too much. We uh, we nearly got that that yellow. So Jimmy Cole with a with a good problems. chance now. That red will set him up nicely for the black and hopefully for the next red too. If he can't get this, he should give it up. It's a decent break, that. Well, this is a really, really good chance. Yeah, right in the heart of the pocket. So 
so 52 points in front. You know, a million miles away from this frame. He's taking the yellow. Bit of a strange shot choice, but uh, going the red regardless. Well, he's playing a weird one here. Nope. Kind of tempted to take this one on. That's there. Right. It's very, very nerve wracking playing without the aim and aid. Well, I'm, I'm trying my best here. You see, you see me go full sweat mode here. <laughs> uh, well, this is a bigger break than I ever thought we'd get without the aim and aid. How's position? 16. Can we get that red? It's very close. Cracker. Need a bounce. Great cue ball control. Play the black. Nah, nowhere near. That time, oof. So there you go. <laughs> That's uh, about as much as I can do <laughs> without the aim and aid. I wasn't too bad though, to be fair. Right. So. Oh, what a cracker. What a cracker. Right. Well, I, I do, I do realise some people will say, you know, it would be a great thing to watch, you know, to see the challenge of you getting better without the aim and aid, but Way with that. I, I just think it, it, I'm never going to get to the situation where I'm getting sentries without the aim and aid. You know, Looks my highest good. break in real life is... Uh, Sixty-seven. You know, I'm not going to better that on a video game. I would very much doubt. So, you know, it, it's a difficult one. As a content creator, I prefer playing this, and I think the videos are better doing this, and the views suggest that as well. Oh no, <laughs> that's very sad. Try and get out of jail using the cushion here. Um, I'm gonna try and hit it really thin. The crowd grown as one. That's a foul. The red will do it. Well, I can't believe he's making us play it from here. The shots are usually pretty standard. That's a big mistake from Jamie. <gasps> wow. As a brown come to our rescue. A red and a colour will do it for him. A long wow. We said it was a big mistake. It turned out to be the perfect decision. Not a straightforward pot, but not overly tough either. Yeah, good pot. So Jamie will probably clear up now. And he misses the pink. But uh, he did well there. And although we messed about a little bit, uh, we're disappointed to not win that. And uh, still only one frame up now. 8 7. It's not bad. Well, he'd run out of position even if he. Oh, he 
he's just uh, rolling into the pack. I think it's touching. Oh, it's a foul. Well, make a play from there. It's safe. In the end, he got neither the pot nor the position. It's a pity there's no such thing as a re rack in this touching game. Ball. Although it's touching That's ball now. Top draw. Very safe, and it's a pretty decent one. Well, I'm not sure we've got much of a choice other than resting into this pack ourselves. So that's what we play. Is it going to reach? Just. There's a few suitable areas on the tail where you can achieve a decent safety. Fantastic safety. Well, there's somebody who's very happy with how this match is going. Oh, well, I didn't spot that one. I was just playing thin. Off that red, but uh, we'll certainly take it. A half chance here to go one away. That could set things up nicely. Need that to pull up, though. And Not hasn't. positionally. He's a decent potter, if not remarkable. He'd be pleased to see that ball. Oh. I think he's going to have a crack at this yellow. The yellow is well dispatched then. Can he get nicely on the green? The Reds will need developing soon. I'll go, go into them. We do. How's our luck? You won't be too disheartened by this position. And it's not but bad, actually. Our position, it can be a nightmare trying to regain it. I thought we'd been unlucky, but that one poked its head out. The green looks like a decent bet. Control the cue ball nicely there. Oh, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. And that's too soft. Ooh, just about enough. Hot. Don't know what's up with them. <laughs> Got position. Not bad. Top and right hand side, try and get into this pack again. That's a decent shot. Oh, we hit the black. No position. Oh. We're not bad here. Ooh. The position isn't ideal, but not too bad. Lots of right hand side here. A decent break that. Lovely position. He needs to get nicely onto the next red. He potted the ball excellently, but he's not got a position to speak of. Well, how unlucky was that? Work there. <laughs> Crazily unlucky, in my opinion. And that'll do. There's a nice safety, 47 point lead. Nice safety. He looks totally demoralised at this point. That's unfortunate. Where's that red going? No, oh, well, I mean, look where the, we got the white. That's a fantastic shot from range. Very unlucky there. He's one of the best positional players in the game. Great cue ball control. <laughs> it 
and it goes and well half a chance here for Jamie you know the position looks this good is a for tough him shot here. oh too hard he got the positioning about right but missed the pot too hard and he'll be very disappointed with that those plants are always risky I guess he'll want a bit of power on this shot if he's to get around the table for his next well, just went a bit too far for position nice there shaker. it'll put a bit of pressure on his opponent that one Well, I don't know what they're clapping at. And I don't know what the on, uh, the commentators are on about either. Amazing touch. <laughs> oh, it's a choice here. That was a bit of a bizarre moment. Black spot it is then. Just needs to hold position for four more shots. Two reds and two colours. Really mean for that. It's his best shot again. Pink is a tough one. So the pressure yellow is, is really on now. He'll need to keep his cool. That's a decent shot. So just this red. He's up against the wall. And we're one up with three to play. Skillful shot there. That'll be a weight off his shoulders, unless he does something horribly wrong. He's got the frame. Eighteen. Just drop this pink in. Be fine on the yellow. So. Nice pot. Been expecting to pot this one. You can get the cue ball in the general area he wants. Double it is. Oh, the treble. <laughs> hey. Wow. Bit of naughty snooker. the blue unfortunately but look at that positional shot oh where's the blue going where's the blue going <laughs> well there we go Jamie Corp concedes and we're one frame away from the UK championship title here psychologically it never helps to be behind in a match of course it helps to have the three of course some reds into play here oh that's gone totally wrong well I don't think he'll mind queuing behind that good chance for Jamie here but massive pressure on him because he knows the pink any like miss the could be his last shot oh. and that is absolutely terrible I just don't know why he went for that well, this is our chance to win the UK Championship to go with our Shanghai Masters title. It's angled to be nicely on the next red. I reckon he's got a good chance of being in position for another black. He won't be too disheartened by this position, but once you run out of position, it can be a nightmare trying to regain it. He'll be just fine if the cue ball doesn't misbehave. We play a nice little cannon here, it could be great. And there you go. Which option will he plumb for? In a really, really good position now. Come 
on. 16. You can control the cue ball nicely there. Tell you what, we're very, very fortunate there. He's Ball's got the trap around the table here. I wonder if he's got his toes crossed. He made that look a lot easier than it was. Can he pot the green? Can we win it with a sentry? This could be a critical break. He's notching the points up nicely. He's spoiled for choice here. I think we want to get nicely on the black after this one. Kind There's plenty of that blue away, but uh, be wary. Just gotta keep potting balls at this stage. Spent with the pink nicely there. Yep, he's got where he wanted to go. This red should give him the requisite angle for the black, which in turn will leave him on the next red. Can he achieve a nice position on the next red from here? He's got options here. This is a pretty good chance. Got to be happy with the, the way we've played, particularly in these four frames. It's important he gets a good angle on the black. Yep, my co-commentator wasn't born yesterday. He's controlled the cue ball nicely there. Just got to try and get into this little gap. Well, he'll be pleased that at the very least he's got a bit of potting practice there. There's a few roads he can go down here. He's spoilt for choice. There's several reds that are possible. So just this black and one more red and we'll be lifting that UK championship. He'll be pleased to be amassing a tidy little points total. Well. A red and a colour will do it for him. He'll probably want to get position back on the black. Good shot. Oh, it's there. That one just the same shape. His opponent will need snookers. And there we go. That red will set him up nicely for the black and hopefully for the next red too. And now for the ton. Taking the black seems like the sensible option here. You can relax in the noise that the frames is. Now for the ton. Took the words right out of me mouth, John. Red on the side cushion. The black's looking like a good bet again. Poor position. Bit wayward there. This is a I'd tough. Love to get a sentry, here. but I'm not sure we're gonna quite manage it now. We'll try the double. No good be. Oh, how close was that? Well, with that break of 89, we have won the match 10-7 against Jamie Corp and win the UK Championship title. Please put your hands together for the runner-up, Jamie Cole. Raising our trophy. And you have to say that was a really good performance. High break of 89. I mean, did we not even make a century in that match? <laughs> Pretty crazy in the end, to, to be honest. But uh, an average shot time of nine seconds, not too bad at all. Uh, decent in all departments, really. And Jamie Cope just was second best. For a large proportion of the match, you know, there was maybe a little bit of uh, time in the first session where he was reeling off frames and re looking really good, but we were just uh, a little bit better uh, in the evening there, and uh, we've got the, the UK Championship in the back. Woohoo! 100 big ones! That's what it's all about. Only one competition gives you more of a rush than this, and you know what that is. 
Okay, let's take a look at the leaderboard with your lovely, lovely seven and a half thousand points. So he seems to be happy, which is always good. Um, so we'll add those points in. Let's have a little look at the the world rankings uh, while we're here. Ah, actually, we've got to go into the uh, dressing room to do that, which I really can't be bothered to do. Uh, but way we got Mark Selby in the first uh, round of the Masters. So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is the Masters anyway. Let's have a little look. Uh, yep, it is venue Wembley. And uh, well, obviously we won't be playing best of 30. <laughs> look at that. Match wins one for Mark Selby. So the world number three versus the world number two. Uh, what's happened so far? So Joe Swale has beaten Mark Allen. Dominic Dale has beaten Peter Ebden. Uh, John Higgins has beaten uh, Steve Davis. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has thrashed Jamie Cope, who we've just beaten. Um, and uh, it'll be us on Mark Selby versus Sean Murphy or Anthony Hamilton. And then Hendry or Maguire versus Ken Doherty or Stuart Bingham. So I see Stuart Bingham coming out of that little uh, quarter there. But uh, that is going to be that for this UK Championship then. It has been an absolute blast uh, recording the UK Championship for you guys. And I can't wait to get into the next episode where we'll be taking on uh, the real life world number one, maybe not for much longer, but uh, Mark Selby, the jester from Leicester. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out, it means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for really regular, <laughs> almost daily uh, snooker content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.